There was a time, before most of us were born, when senators who control the purse strings for various government agencies would hold hearings regarding the funding for the future funding for those agencies. And if the agencies involved were heavy, heavy into science, they would have scientists come in and give testimony. That era has passed. What we have now? Senators drag in scientists, and then the senators give testimony, and then they make assertions under the pretense of asking questions, and then the scientists have no idea what the bloody hell the, se the senator is talking about, so they can't answer. Another fine case in point, you thought Senator Snowball was batshit? You thought Senator Hurricane Counter was batshit? Here we have another example. Yeah, so that's um, why I'm asking you to stop and think, and what is the conservative solution to this? Well, it's well, to let me a ask price you, on carbon. President Obama on November the conservative Dr. James Hansen gave the conservative solution to the problem of human-caused climate change to the conservative senator, and the answer went whoosh, right over senator's head, and then the senator brought up Obama. November 14th said temperatures around the globe, or the temperature around the globe is increasing faster than was predicted even 10 years ago. Yeah, and that's also hilarious. It isn't the scientists who President Obama was quoting. It was President Obama who just pulled the statement out of his ass. Link to the paper below, which President Obama was quoting and talking about, scientists have seen, and they are seeing, Earth's global average temperature has increased and is increasing faster than they expected it would, a decade and longer ago. It wasn't President Obama who just said, hey, the planet's warming faster than all of the scientists thought it would. It's the scientists Obama was quoting. Which idiot Senator Johnson doesn't want anybody to know, but it gets worse. At a article in The Economist in March 2013, and I quote, said, temperatures have not really risen over the last 10 years. An article in The Economist. A month earlier, the BBC News reported that since 1998, there has been an unexplained standstill in the heating of the Earth's atmosphere. That this yes, and the BBC got it wrong. This is not unexplained. What the BBC was talking about was the upper part of the lower troposphere. Remote sensing system satellites have been measuring that specific layer of Earth's atmosphere and they have noted that the temperature increase is slighter than what the scientists expect for the rest of the planet as a whole. Notice that Senator Johnson is giving testimony under the pretense of asking questions. When senators do this, it baffles the shit out of scientists. <clears throat> the explanation for why that specific layer, the upper part of the lower troposphere, has not been warming as fast as the surface of the planet has been known for a hell of a long time. It's taught in basic high school physics. Heat a gas. It expands. When a gas expands, it cools until, in Earth's atmosphere, a dynamic equilibrium is reached for each layer that is being warmed differentially. Long wave infrared radiation comes in, low wave infrared radiation goes out, different layers heat differentially. When a new dynamic equilibrium is reached, each layer is slightly higher above Earth's surface than it was before it was warmed. This is not a mystery. For example, the stratosphere is actually cooling. 
This was expected. This is what is observed. The rest of the planet is still warming sharply, just as all of the scientists and all of the physics said it would. This is largely correct, right? That energy, that temperatures have remained flat over the last 10, 15 years. Yes, for one part of the lower troposphere. Watch what happens when Dr. Hansen tries to answer. No, the rate of, of increase has been lower, and it's not unexplained. The, there's a natural Pacific decadal oscillation, and the Pacific uh, tropical temperature has not warmed during that I period, believe, and that's you, affected the global temperature. You said. Let, let me ask just a final question. Are, are Why did Senator Johnson even bother pretending to ask a question when he's not going to listen to the answer? Uh, Mr. Bruin, uh, Dr. Hansen, are you both familiar with a fellow named Patrick Moore? Patrick Moore is a spokesperson for various fossil fuel industries who has been going around claiming falsely that he was a founder of Greenpeace. Why Dr. Hansen or any of the other experts on Earth's climate should know about him is a mystery, except when you realize that Senator Johnson is not asking questions, he's making assertions. Yes. So he was the founder of Greenpeace, correct? No. And uh, disavowed by them three decades ago. Well, he's disavowing them as well. He said that he's... Uh, uh, he left the group because uh, he said the group became more interested in politics than science. Greenpeace is and has always been a political organization. It has never been a science organization. It was founded as a political organization. Someone who falsely claims they helped found Greenpeace damn well ought to know that fact. It makes the lie so much more believable. It had taken a sharp turn to the political left, but he made the statement, he said, we do not know where the present pause in temperature will remain for some time, or... The current temperature pause. I guess all atomic agitation on Earth, all the matter, is now at absolute zero. Maybe he means the sharp and anomalous global average temperature increase, which has not paused. No scientist out there says it has. If it had paused, humanity would be royally fucked because whatever had would have made that pause would probably kill us all. A global thermal nuclear holocaust ejecting billions of tons of dust in the atmosphere, shrouding the planet preventing sunlight to come in, then it would pause. Scientists have no idea what this pause is. They don't see it anywhere, except maybe in the upper part of the lower uh, troposphere. The rest of the planet is warming sharply, faster and more than what most scientists thought it would. No sign of a pause anywhere whether it will go up or down at some time in the near future. What we do know with extreme certainty is that climate is always changing. Yes, climate change in the past is not a problem. Human-caused climate change now is a major problem. Between pauses and that we are not capable with our limited knowledge of predicting which way it will go next. All the scientists have been and are capable of predicting a global average increase They've been doing that for almost 200 years, by the way. Notice that the person he's quoting is a spokesperson for the fossil fuel industry, not a scientist. I live in Wisconsin. You know, there were, two, I think, 200-foot-thick glaciers in Wisconsin. How do you explain the it's climate a, it's change a, before, it's before a, man ever had a carbon footprint? How, how do you explain that? The statement that, climate that you change? just made is blatantly false. How do we do explain, know. We how, don't. how do you explain climate change that occurred 10,000 years ago before man had a carbon print? Oh. Carbon footprint? How do you explain <laughs> Cli that? Cli climate, uh, th there are, there are uh, variations in the Earth's orbital elements. The eccentricity of the Earth's orbit, 
the time in the season at which is closest to the sun. So and, those variations and, just end right now, so now it's all man-made? This is an adult. This is a senator in the United States Congress, and he wants everybody out there to believe he is a moron. Notice, Dr. Henson gave the correct answer on why Earth's climate changes in the past, and the correct answer for why the climate is currently changing. Did the senator listen to the answer? No. He made another assertion, giving testimony instead of hearing testimony. Yeah, all those no one has said just, it is just, all man-made. Well, there that's, there that's, are that's natural... Kind of the, the, the tack that most However, environmentalists take. However, the man-made effect is now dominant. And we can measure that because we can measure the energy balance of the planet. And we see that there's more energy coming in and it is going out. So therefore, the planet is going to continue to get warmer. It doesn't mean each year is going to get warmer because there are natural fluctuations. But this decade is going to be warmer than the last one. And the following one will be still warmer. I and he is exactly 100% correct. What is the senator's reply? I agree, I agree with Ms. Harbert. I think the, set, the science is far from settled. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a question. Is Senator Johnson really the moron he's pretending to be? Does he really disagree with all the world's experts on the subject? Does he really disagree with the laws of physics? Or, conversely, since the people funding his campaign to be United States Senator is chiefly the fossil fuel industry, could it be he is just obeying his corporate sponsors? Moron obeying corporate sponsors. What's the most likely explanation?